Hi, I'm Michael Josh, and you're watching Gadget Match. Today's unboxing is not your usual unboxing because this phone that we're featuring is a phone that probably you haven't heard of unless you live in China or Taiwan. Here at Gadget Match, we believe that a phone's selfie camera is as important as its main camera. Right, Isa? Yes, of course. Even if they don't take as many selfies as I do, a good selfie camera is very practical. I agree, but let's not keep them waiting. You do the honors. <laughs> This is the Meitu V6 box. It has the serious looking plaque up front and even the cutouts are special. It's not your usual plain white box from affordable smartphones. Okay, let's lift the lid up. Oh, a letter from Angela Baby. A cute wiping cloth, manuals, and here it is, the Meitu V6. But let's see what else is in the box. This is awesome. A matching leather case for the phone. There's a screen protector. And there's also a jelly case, which always comes in handy. It doesn't get more extra than this. I wish more phones came with two case options. There's a wall charger and a USB Type-C cable. Last but not the least, a Bluetooth remote in the same shape as the phone. This is the first time I've ever seen a Bluetooth remote bundled with any smartphone we've unboxed, but what is it for? It's for taking handle selfie. Ah, okay, gotcha. Okay, is this it? No headphones? No headphones in the box. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar with the brand Meitu, they're actually pretty popular in the beauty space. They, they make some really popular beauty apps, as well as some selfie smartphones, and most recently, the Sailor Moon smartphone. But the V6 is their latest and probably the best one they have so far. First thing you'll notice is its irregular shape. You know what it reminds me of? That Exilim selfie camera from Casio a few years ago. But that one looks like a point and shoot camera. This one, it's definitely more than just a phone. It's a fashion statement, an accessory you can add to your OOTD. It's got hand-stitched calfskin leather on the back and 18K gold-plated rivets. So what do you think about this color? Well, this phone actually comes in four colors. Edinburgh Blue, Melbourne Green, Monaco Pink, and Rotterdam Orange. All travel themed. Now, we got the orange one and I honestly wasn't such a fan of it when I first got it, but it's a color that has grown on me. Even if it doesn't match your hair? Even if it doesn't match my hair, it's such a bold color. It's a standout and everyone notices. It's a statement for one. So why don't we now go over the phone's features? So what has me excited about this phone is there are four cameras and they have the same specs on each side. Photos you take using the main cameras will look pretty much the same when you take them up front. There's depth effect that allows you to adjust the blur settings like so. What I really enjoyed is the special movie mode so my shots can be more cinematic. Wow, your selfies really do look professional. But Isa, you're very particular about beauty modes on smartphone. How did this beauty mode fare? Well, I really am, and I like this phone's implementation. You have a choice from one to seven, but fair warning, the airbrushing can be too much. I only ever dared to go as far as one. I also love that the beauty mode is available for video so I can look fresh on all my vlogs. Not all selfie phones have that. Now, us techies don't really appreciate bloatware, but this phone comes pre-installed with a lot of made to apps, and I feel like you actually like them. Well, you know, bloatware in general isn't fun, but these apps are apps that you can use to edit your photos, add filters, and these are apps that I feel like you're gonna download and use anyway. They're a lot of fun. My favorite is this one where you can add makeup and change your hair color. Okay, now that's what I've gotta try. How do I add the blue hair? Okay, I think I want this color, so I match the Huawei P20 Pro. 
and of course, pairing the Bluetooth shutter is so easy. It has a built-in app. See Josh, pre-installed apps aren't that bad. At least in this case. Mm -hmm. The V6 has everything else that make it a capable daily driver. It's not just a selfie camera. Face and lock is surprisingly accurate, even in unusually challenging scenarios. Fingerprint sensor here. It also has NFC and Android Beam, so you can easily transfer those photos you just took to other devices. My games run pretty well on this phone. I have no lag or crash issues. Battery lasts a whole day's worth of use. Working on this phone and browsing social media were not a problem, except Snapchat. It just shuts down every time I try to use my AR Bitmoji. Well, Snapchat in general isn't optimized for the thousands of Android devices out there. So it's not necessarily Meitu's fault. Well, folks, that's really something you have to keep in mind if you're thinking of getting this phone. So is the Meitu V6 your gadget match? Is it your gadget match? You seem to have really enjoyed using this phone. I definitely did. This phone has the most detailed beauty editing features and selfie specific functions I've ever seen on the phone. It's the type of device that you don't just get for your usual everyday tasks, but also because it's an accessory like a handbag, like a true luxury smartphone, it will cost you around $800. That's if you can get it. There's still no news if the phone will be available outside of China and Taiwan. Only special people like Isa get it. It's not for everyone. If you want to step up your selfie and OOTD game, then it's definitely worth checking out. And that was our Meitu V6 unboxing and review. For more videos like this one, you know the drill folks, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, follow Gadget Match on social media, and make gadgetmatch.com your daily habit. And if you want to read more selfie smartphone reviews, or read about more lifestyle tech stuff, you can visit hergadgetmatch.com or check us out on Facebook. That's facebook.com slash hergadgetmatch. We'll put all the links below. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. And I'm Isa. Thanks for dropping by.